DoorDash in St. Louis, best places, tips, and safety advice. Hey everyone, welcome back to Best Referral Driver. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated with our latest tips and insights. Today, we're talking about door dashing in St. Louis. We'll cover the best places to dash, some helpful tips, and important safety advice to keep you out of trouble. Let's get started. Best places to door dash in St. Louis. First, Let's dive into the best places to DoorDash in St. Louis. Based on feedback from local drivers fro our community, here are some hotspots you should consider. 1. Florissant. This area has numerous hotspots. Focus on Chinese restaurants, and you'll do well here. Just remember to avoid Florissant East. 2. Maryland Heights and U-City, Clayton. These areas are known for high activity, making them great for consistent orders. 3. St. Charles County. A reliable area with a steady flow of orders. Perfect if you want to avoid the city center. 4. Webster Groves, Downtown Clayton, and Crev Core. Busy from mid-afternoon until midnight, especially when the pizza places are open. 5. Arnold and Imperial. Ideal for late afternoon and evening dashing. Just be cautious with some of the driveways if you're driving a light vehicle. 6. Chesterfield, Fenton, and Crev Core. Good spots, but expect a slowdown between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. 7. For Successful Dashing Now, let's talk about some tips to help you maximize your earnings and efficiency while door dashing in St. Louis. 1. Avoid Downtown there have been horror stories about dashing downtown, including a dasher getting carjacked. It's best to stay away from this area. 2. Leverage hotspots. Areas like Florissant and Maryland Heights are great for high order volumes. Keep an eye on the app's hotspot feature to stay in busy zones. 3. Plan your schedule. Dashing from mid-afternoon to late at night can be very productive, especially when the pizza places are open. Consider starting around 3.30 p.m. and going until midnight. 4. Use multiple apps. Float between Uber Eats and DoorDash, especially during slower times. This can keep you busy and maximize your earning potential. 5. Familiarize yourself with the area. Know which areas to avoid, such as Hampton, parts of Broadway, and the Carondelet Park area. Stay away from North County and STL proper for safety reasons. Safety Advice Safety is paramount when door dashing. Here are some key safety tips to keep in mind. 1. Stay in safe zones. Avoid areas known for high crime rates. 2. Stick to safer neighborhoods like the south side of St. Louis around Jefferson, Gravois, Grand, and Loughborough. 2. 
Drive a reliable car. Some areas have tricky roads and driveways. If you're driving a lighter car, be cautious in places like Arnold and Imperial. 3. Stay alert. Always be aware of your surroundings, especially when delivering late at night. Four, avoid known problem areas. Stay away from streets like Hampton, except near Forest Park, and be cautious in Carondelet Park area. Park in well-lit areas and avoid leaving your car running while you drop off orders. Five, have a dash buddy. If you're ever unsure about an area, having someone dash with you can add an extra layer of security. In conclusion, door dashing in St. Louis can be very rewarding if you know where to go and how to stay safe. Focus on the hotspots, plan your schedule wisely, and always prioritize your safety. If you found these tips helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your fellow dashers. Drop a comment below with your own experiences or tips for dashing in St. Louis. And don't forget to subscribe to Best Referral Driver for more tips and strategies to boost your delivery success. Until next time, stay safe and happy dashing!